Hello everybody! Hi again from my kitchen with Rados today, my favorite time of the day, 1 o'clock, when we're cooking together. We are going to make a couple of things again today, um, just as last time, we're going to be very busy. So let's find out what we're making today. Next week, as you guys know, it is Cinco de Mayo and also North Texas Giving Day. So the recipes for today are going to honor both big events for um, my possibilities. So the first one is a marriage between two of uh, my favorite dishes and probably yours as well, enchiladas and meatballs. So basically what we're making today is enchilada meatballs. That's gonna be the first recipe that we start with. And then the next one, will be a big bowl of guacamole. So, first we're going to make the enchilada meatballs and then while the enchilada meatballs are cooking, we're going to make the guacamole. We want to make the guacamole towards the end just because avocados change color and we want the guacamole to look fresh and green so this will be made last minute and then the first one, as I said, would be the enchilada meatballs. I also have a couple of guests today joining me. Probably would not be of much help uh, while I'm cooking, but maybe they'll be my taste, taste testers. I've got two pinetas, a dinosaur one, and a llama one. So they're there watching me while I'm cooking too. And as usual, we're going to first uh, talk about what our tools and ingredients are and we're going to do that with the enchilada meatball recipe first and then afterwards we're going to discuss the guacamole recipe. I do want you to know how proud I am when you post videos or pictures of all the wonderful dishes you're making at home. I'm beyond proud. Thank you so much. I would love to see more of these. Um, in the next few days uh, when you guys would be hopefully making the same dishes at home as we're making today. So please post these on Facebook or email me directly. I can't wait to see these. So thank you again in advance. And as promised, we're going to start with the enchilada meatball recipe first. So this is what we need. We are going to use ground turkey, lean. I do have 85% uh, lean turkey. And this is a bigger pack, so we're going to use half of it. The only ingredient that we're kind of getting help with is the enchilada sauce. It's pre-made, and these cans are about a cup each, so we're going to use both. This is mild red enchilada sauce. I did see this morning some green enchilada sauce at the grocery store as well, but I kind of wanted to maybe go with the traditional one, so I picked the red one. Also, in the meatball mixture, we're going to add one egg. That's going to be kind of our binding agent. One garlic clove, half an onion, and at the very end, when we're baking the meatballs with the sauce, we're going to need some uh, melting cheese. So for today, I have just cheddar cheese, but if you have Monterey Jack or any other melting cheese, it would work great. So we're going to shred this in a little bit. And as far as seasonings for the enchilada meatballs, black pepper and salt, of course. And then we're going to need mild chili powder and ground cumin. So as you guys can see, not a lot of ingredients, but lots of flavor and it's not gonna take too long, I promise. So this is what we're going to do first. I'm going to turn the oven on. It's gonna be hot to 425. And we're going to bake the meatballs first for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then once the meatballs are cooked, not all the way though, for 10 to 12 minutes, we're going to get some of the enchilada sauce and the cheese. And we're going to bake them for a few more minutes until they're completely cooked. So two stages, we're going to kind of pre-cook the meatballs at first add the sauce and the cheese and then finish them off in the oven again in a different dish. So let's get started. Oh, I forgot. Here's 
my tools for the recipe for today. Can opener, okay, we need that for the enchilada sauce. I've got my trusted spatula here to make sure that we get every little bit of ingredient. Okay, a nice sturdy cutting board for chopping our onion and garlic. Measuring cups, measuring spoons, and because I do have a block of cheese, I'm going to need my cheese grater, okay? And then I've got a garbage bowl in the sink, and then I've got a another ball. This is gonna be our mixing ball for the meatballs. Okay, and then once we get the meatballs in the oven and we proceed with the guacamole, we're gonna go over what we need for that recipe. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to preheat the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on to 425. So that's gonna be a hot oven. And it's gonna take about 10 minutes to preheat, which is enough time for us to chop up the onion and garlic and kind of mix the meatballs and go ahead and roll them. Okay, so I'm turning the oven on. So let's um, get chopping here, okay? I'm going to trim and peel my onion, okay? Again, half a median onion is what we need, just half an onion, okay? And I'm going to do a small dice, okay? Small dice on the onion. I've made meatballs before to where as you saute the onions and garlic, okay? But today, because we're making two things and I don't think I have the patience of, you know, waiting too long for the meatballs to get ready, I'm going to just dice up the garlic and the onion without cooking them. It is just, just perfectly fine. So just a small dice, okay? And the onion we only needed for the meatball recipe. Okay, the guacamole recipe is only gonna need garlic. Okay. Try to dice them as small as you can. Okay, it doesn't have to be any perfect dice. Okay, just small pieces. Okay. That way we get a little bit of onion in each bite of the meatball. I love onions. Okay, so almost finished with the onion, and then next we're going to mince the garlic. Okay, so dice the onion, mince the garlic. Okay. All right, so there it is. There is my onion. That's a nice little mound of diced onion. Okay, and then I'm going to remove the peel from the garlic. And I'm also going to trim it right here where the roots were, so trimming. Okay, and then the easiest way, just as what we did with the onion, I'm going to split it in half and put it flat side down. Okay, that way it is steady, okay, and safe to cut. And cut it lengthwise and strips and then the opposite way. Okay, that way we get little, little chunks of garlic. Okay, or if you have a garlic press, you could totally do that. Okay, so almost there. And this is almost the entire prep that we need done for the meatballs. Okay, so it takes no time to get this ready. Okay, so there are the veggies here, and this is my bowl, mixing bowl for the meatballs. So all of that going in. Okay. And for mixing things and forming the meatballs, I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm not gonna use a ice cream scoop or um, a spatula, just, just my best kitchen tools. Um, and we'll make them rustic. They don't have to be, you know, the perfect size. Okay, all right. There goes my ground turkey. I'm adding this next. So I'm just gonna 
from the package, kind of break up half of it so that it makes about a pound. Okay? And we'll make the meatballs about an inch and a half or so uh, big. So there it is. Okay, there goes my ground turkey. And because I handled this raw turkey and I need to add a couple of more things to the meatball mixture, I'm going to wash my hands with soap and water. Hands are clean and dry. I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. Okay, so we need about, you know, a quarter to a half teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to sprinkle it over. Okay, then I'm going to do a few rounds of the black pepper. So maybe a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, this looks like enough, okay, on the black pepper. Then I'm gonna do about half a teaspoon of ground turkey. Okay, this one I'm going to measure more accurately with my measuring spoons. Okay, I'm gonna move the lid. Okay, it's not cooperating too well, but never mind. Here is my half teaspoon. I'm gonna try to squeeze the cumin in there. So half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay, this is one of the seasonings that's also used in taco seasoning and lots of other dishes. Um, so there's no spice to it. So half a teaspoon is a good amount. Okay, so there is half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And I picked the mild chili powder just because we're adding some enchilada sauce to that recipe as well. And we want to make sure that everybody at home can eat it. Okay, so about half a teaspoon or so as well, okay, of mild ground chili powder, okay. And we're going to add the enchilada sauce. So we need about a third of a cup of enchilada sauce. So some of it's going to go into the meatball mixture and the rest is going to go into the baking dish when we finish off the meatballs. So I'm going to measure. A third cup, okay, a third cup of enchilada sauce. So here is my one third measuring cup, okay. Right. This is just going to add some moisture, okay, so that the meatballs are not dry, and of course, more flavor to the recipe. So that is one third cup, okay, and the last ingredient, absolutely last ingredient, is one egg, okay. So there goes my egg in there. I'm going to go ahead and mix everything so you guys can see. Um, on the bottom, we've got the minced garlic and the diced onion. Then we've got the ground turkey, all spices on there, black pepper, salt, ground cumin, and mild chili uh, powder, one egg, and one third cup of enchilada sauce, mild. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything, okay? All right, so just enough so that all the ingredients are combined if we over mix things then the meatballs get dense and we don't want dense enchilada meatballs today okay all right mmm it smells really good so can't wait to see what you have made as well at home so please um, add this to your Facebook posts and updates, or you can just email me directly on my uh, possibilities, my possibilities email. Okay, all right. So I've got here the uh, mixture ready, the meatball mixture ready. I'm going to just kind of free up a little bit of space over here on the counter. That way I can bring the baking pan, the first baking pan. Okay. All right, so that we can make the meatballs, transfer them to the first baking pan, bake them all for 10 or 12 minutes. And then while this is happening, we're going to um, start on the guacamole. So I have a big baking dish 
This is half sheet and I have covered it with parchment paper. Um, we don't want the meatballs to get stuck to the pan and you know, um, get them hard to um, remove and plus just the cleanup process gets lengthy. So this is um, us preventing the meatballs from sticking to the baking pan and then just kind of, um, you know, making the cleanup process easy. So you guys could see, um, I made the first meatball, it's about an inch, inch and a half. So I'm gonna try to make the rest of them about the same size, okay? I'm gonna try to kind of uh, cover the entire um, surface of the baking pan with the meatballs, okay? All right, so there's the second one. So let's see how many I can, probably I can get four in a row and let's see how many rows that would make. Okay, so what we're making today would probably be um, a family size dish. Um, so uh, possibly with some leftovers. If you guys um, are serving the meatballs with um, some side dishes and some popular side dishes with that would be maybe some rice and beans, maybe corn, uh, maybe a salad, um, or what about if you make an enchilada meatball sandwich? The possibilities are endless, it is totally up to you, and I know you guys are very creative, so you can find all kinds of combinations. This is just the base of what we can make, and then you guys can add your spin to the recipe. Okay, so you guys can see, you know, these are round, round meatballs, okay, to my best, okay, more rustic, but, you know, trying not to over mix them, okay, that way they're still fluffy, okay, not dense, okay, so halfway through, and my oven is still preheating, so we're just on time, okay, I've got 10 meatballs so far, so probably we can get close to maybe 20 or so if we're making them about that size, an inch, an inch and a half big. Mixture is very easy to work with. Okay. It's kind of fun playing with something soft like that. Mm, and they smell really nice. All these seasonings that we put in there and the enchilada sauce has lots of um, flavors as well, in addition to what we've already used as far as ingredients in this recipe. Okay. Alright, so I've got this meatball and one, looks like one more, okay, to make. Okay, let's see, okay, so all in all we got 17 meatballs, okay, 17 meatballs. So I'm going to kind of make sure that they are covering the pan, so maybe like I could do three in a row instead of four. Okay, there you go. All right, perfect. And we're going to bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to set the timer, and then of course I'm going to clean my hands and put this in the sink with dirty dishes. Everybody, Ryan, Audrey, Alley Cat. Hi, everybody. All right. Okay. So there is the pan. Ta-da! Seventeen, the most beautiful meatballs. Okay, going in the oven. We're going to go ahead 
go ahead and start on the guacamole. Okay, so this is what we need for the guacamole. Okay, we're going to um, need some avocados. Avocados. So I've got five avocados. Again, it depends on how many um, people you have um, at the dinner table. So I'll probably start with three of these, okay, because there's only three of us. And one lime, we need the juice of one lime. And I'm going to use one Roma tomato and one garlic clove. And then as far as seasonings, we're just gonna go ahead and use salt. Um, if you have any fresh cilantro, um, go ahead and use that as well, okay? But just for today's recipe, we're going with a very simple guacamole recipe, which is fresh avocados, freshly squeezed lime juice, fresh tomato, and a fresh garlic clove, okay? So this is a serving bowl, and I cannot use it for the... Um, recipe today because we're going to have to crush the garlic we don't want to break that bowl so I have another bowl ready for that and I'm going to use my pestle to crush the garlic okay so that is my bowl mixing bowl okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel the garlic and trim it just like we did for the enchilada meatballs, so peel and trim. I'm using my garbage bowl here in the uh, sink, just because it's convenient. Trimming, trimming the garlic. Okay, there it is. Okay, and then I'm going to add maybe like about a quarter teaspoon of salt to it. And we're going to smash it. Okay, with the pestle. Okay. turn it into more of a smooth paste. Okay. Looks pretty good. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing to the avocados. We're going to smash them with this, with the pestle, okay? All right, so I'm going to cut the avocados in half, okay? And we're going to very carefully remove the pit, okay? There's a kid inside. Okay. All right. So I'm going to score each half okay, into smaller chunks. That way it's easier for me to smash okay, the avocado. So the easiest way to remove the pit is not with the knife. Okay, this is um, very dangerous. Okay, we're just going to kind of squeeze. Um, the avocado and the pit just comes out, so we're just squeezing the avocado, okay. just carefully uh, scoring the avocado, okay? All right, so I'm going to do, do this with all three avocados that I have, and these are green, okay, with no brown spots on them, so that's good. Okay. Halfway through getting the avocados ready, okay? All right, so squeeze, we're squeezing the pit out, okay, there, it comes out, okay. All right, and here is my last avocado, okay. Okay, we're just cutting around the pit, okay. All these three were nice green avocados. 
Okay, and here is the last half again to remove the pit. I'm just going to squeeze it gently and then the pit comes out. It is definitely not safe trying to yank the pit with the knife. Okay, so do not do that. Okay. All right, and then I need a spoon to scoop the avocados and transfer them to our mixing bowl. Do it very carefully too. You want just the inside, okay? It comes out very clean, okay? All right, and it goes in there, and it's all it's going to be discarded afterwards, okay? Just scooping out the flesh. Two more halves left. Okay. Comes out very clean. All right, last one. So when we smash the avocado, we can still leave some chunks to it. It doesn't have to be just completely smooth. We can have some texture. And then I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna smash the avocado and I do have to wash the um, tomato and the lime. There they are, okay, ready for the next step. Okay, and then we're going to smash the avocado with the pestle. Okay, it definitely helps that we kind of scored the avocado. One day I was um, watching Food Network and um, uh, it was this show, uh, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, you probably have seen this too, but they made a guacamole with smoked fish in it, smoked trout, so um, all kinds of other ingredients can be added to a guacamole recipe. I've seen some with hard-boiled eggs, with feta cheese, I've even seen some recipes that the pit, the pit is added um, just for presentation to the guacamole, okay? We're just making just a simple, quick recipe today with fewer ingredients. Just another few smashes is what we need. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to leave some chunks, okay, just because we're going to dice up the tomato, so it's going to be nice to have bites of avocado and bites of tomato. Okay, all right, so this is how it's looking. Okay, there it is. All right, and let's add the tomato. Okay, I'm going to cut it in half and core it. I'm going to remove the core. Okay. All right. And then flat side down, I'm going to dice it just like we dice the onion. So kind of slice it lengthwise and then go the opposite direction. And that's how we make the little cubes. Okay, that's half. And here's the, the rest of the tomato. Okay. All right, so it goes all into the bowl with the avocado. Okay. 
Ooh, time to check on the meatballs. All right. I'm going to take them out of the oven, okay? And then we're going to just finish with the guacamole and then finish with the meatballs. And as you can tell, okay, they're not fully cooked, but they're very juicy. That's what we want. And they're going to finish cooking with the enchilada sauce and the shredded cheese into this other baking dish that I have there. Okay, so for now, they're just going to rest on the counter, okay? We're not going to turn off the oven. It's going to take us just a moment to finish the avocado and add the rest of the ingredients to the enchilada meatballs. Okay, here's my lime. Okay, so sometimes limes need a little bit of a gentle roll on the counter to release their juices. So I'm just gently massaging my lime. Okay, um, I've microwaved it before as well. It's okay to microwave for a few seconds just to get more juice out of it. And just in case I don't get enough juice, I'm gonna go ahead and use a second one. Okay, I'm cutting it in half. And then I'm just going to squeeze, I'm going to start with just one half, and then we're going to taste it and see if we need to add a little bit more, okay. So, it's actually giving me quite a bit of lime juice, so we may go with just this half, okay. I'm going to get all of it out, okay. And then we're going to stir and taste and see. It needs more salt or lime juice. Okay. I'm gonna release the pestle. It has done its work. Okay. Alright, so let's mix everything. Alright, this is kind of like our chunky, very simple guacamole. Right. So I'm going to taste it and then decide whether we need anything else to it. bite of everything, okay? Mmm. Maybe, maybe just a pinch more salt. Just a pinch. Everything else is perfect in there. Okay, all right, there it is. And I have as little serving bowls. I've got these little serving bowls, okay? Or I can uh, go ahead and put it into this guacamole avocado bowl. Okay, so we're probably gonna do that. Okay. All right, there goes in there. It's gonna be ready for whenever we are ready with the meatballs too. It's just gonna rest. perfect size. Okay. All right. Done. Okay. Done with that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and set it on the table. Okay. All right. And then let's finish with our meatballs. I'm going to bring the um, second baking dish in here and transfer the meatballs there and add the enchilada sauce and I'm going to shred some cheese over, over them. Okay. So this is my baking dish. If you guys have any kind of Pyrex baking dish or some other casserole dish, um, you know, definitely something that is just a little deeper, okay, then our baking pan, okay. Um, another idea that I'm giving you guys uh, for when you make this recipe at home is you can actually add some corn and black beans already to the meatballs and the enchilada sauce and bake it like that as well. So this is another option. Okay. I'm just gonna do the meatballs with the enchilada sauce and the cheese. Okay. All right, so we 
using my oven lids, okay, just because we took this out a couple of minutes ago, I am going to place the meatballs into the baking dish. And you guys can see they're not sticking, right? We used the parchment paper, so that prevented the meatballs from getting stuck to the baking pan, and it's just going to be a very easy cleanup. Okay, we've got 17 meatballs to transfer. Okay. Right. Arrange them maybe like in a circle like that. Okay. Right. And again, they need a few more minutes with the sauce. Okay, they are just par cooked, par baked. Okay, they're very juicy. Okay. Let's see. Right. Let's see. Hopefully, we get all of them in. Okay. Looking pretty good. Let's see. All right, maybe we can add one more over here in the outer ring. Okay. All right, that's perfect. There you go. Okay. Just the perfect size. This was the perfect size for this dish. Okay. All right. So let me add the sauce. Okay. So I have a little bit of the first can that we're going to use. I'm just going to pour, okay, some eventually lettuce sauce over each meatball. So there is the, the rest of that first can. Okay, and each can was about a cup of enchilada sauce, mild enchilada sauce. Okay. All right, it's going to be recycled in just a minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the second can and use probably all of it in there. Uh, someone asked, uh, how long asked, where did you get that avocado bowl? Did you answer that? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Um, this avocado bowl I got a few years back at TJ Maxx. Um, TJ Maxx kind of has these fun kitchen um, tools and plates and fun just kitchen gadgets in general. So I got um, I got that um, avocado avocado bowl from there. It came with a spoon. The spoon did not last uh, too long, so we only have the uh, bowl okay all right so i'm gonna go ahead and add all of the sauce okay all right you can dip tortillas in there it's gonna go really well if you have rice to serve along the meatballs this is just all a very good sauce okay all right that's it okay and let's start on the cheese we'll just need to shred some cheese okay and as i showed you guys last monday my cheese grater has two legs with rubber covers, okay, so it doesn't um, move on the counter. Or I can also set it over my dish and just directly grate over it. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Alright, it's easier that way. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure that I spread the cheese around evenly over the meatballs. So I'm just using just a regular cheddar cheese. Um, any melting cheese would work. If you have Monterey Jack or Colby Jack, it would be good too. Okay, so just cheese is what is the last ingredient needed in this dish. And we're going to be finished. We just need to bake this for a few more minutes. We need to um, finish baking the meatballs in the sauce. And then the cheese needs to melt, and then the sauce needs to heat through as well. Okay, so maybe about a cup of cheese is what I'm using for this recipe. A cup of cheese. If you would like your enchilada meatballs to be cheesier, please use more. Okay, but half one cup is what, what I have. Okay, all right, there it is. Okay. All right, and 
and I'm just gonna kind of get a little bit of cheese over each meatball. Okay. Mm. They are looking so good. Okay, and I'm so happy that this is a quick recipe because it is really hard to wait for these meatballs to get cooked. Okay, so this is not a hot dish. Okay, I'm gonna use the handles and I'm gonna put it back in the oven for I would say maybe 10 minutes. In the meantime, we can clean up and we can kind of talk about a few more things that came up. Okay. still on 425 so this is a hot oven still we haven't changed the temperature um, so we've got 10 minutes on it okay All right. <clears throat> so we did some good work today we've got everything finished we're just waiting on the meatballs we just need to put a couple of things away and we are going to be ready for lunch other line that we can maybe try to see if it would be a good addition to the um, enchilada meatballs if we squeeze it on top for some more fresh flavor but as you guys saw it took us no time to make both things we're multitasking again so it was perfect that there was a point um, when we could stop with the first dish and start on the second and have both of them ready. Um, so again, thank you so much for, for being with me um, this Monday. Um, I am again looking forward to seeing all of your pictures and videos of making this dish at home. Please send them to me on my uh, email or um, post them on Facebook, okay? I did um, take out some more cheese just in case, but I'm going to go ahead and put it back because we didn't use it, so it just needs to go back in the fridge. We're just waiting for the meatballs to get finished. Hi Elizabeth, hi Tim, hi everybody. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Hi London. Thank you so much for watching me again. We made uh, two things, uh, guacamole and enchilada meatballs. The enchilada meatballs are finishing up in the oven. They have just a handful of minutes left. The guacamole is resting there, um, being watched by T-Rex and the llama, so they're making sure that it is safe, that it is in a safe place there. Hi Amber, hi Thomas. Thomas, you can totally add some jalapenos or any kind of other hot something into that recipe. I was thinking about you. Uh, when I was uh, working on that recipe, please feel free to go with a spicier enchilada sauce or add some other form of heat that you like. Hi Richie! Hi Luisa! Hi Olivia! How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Thank you for watching me again. We're just in waiting for the enchilada meatballs and the um, guacamole. And then with the guacamole, um, you guys can totally um, add some tortilla chips or some um, fresh vegetables. I think um, back at MP we've, uh, we've made guacamole, but instead of uh, tortilla chips, we used, I want to say, uh, bell pepper slices. I think we did some um, cucumber slices, some celery, um, something crunchy like that. It doesn't always have to be chips. Uh, we can go... Um, you know, on a healthier route and, and do uh, crisp vegetables, just like as if we have a, um, let's say a ranch dip or something like that, and we usually uh, serve it with fresh vegetables, so that would be good. 
Hi Summer, I see you guys on there. <laughs> Hi Trevon, oh my gosh Trevon, thank you so much for watching me. I've been missing you. Uh, thank you for reaching out to me on Facebook. Thank you all for, for staying in touch uh, virtually and hopefully one day we'll see each other and that will be hopefully soon, soon. I can't wait. Um, how much time we have left on the uh, meatballs. Okay, seven more minutes, everybody, seven more minutes. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> All right, so just seven more minutes to the final. So hopefully they go by fast and I can't, I can't wait. Hi, Katie. How are you? <sighs> Mary, 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 how are you doing? How are you doing? Yes, you're having celery with you, with you lunch. That's great. That is so good. Stay healthy like that. Six, six more minutes. I'm just to the final countdown. Six more minutes and we'll get these meatballs out of the oven. And we're going to serve them with the guacamole and just go to town. just looked, I had to look, and the cheese is melting and it looks so good, so good, so, and it smells incredibly too, with the fresh lime and the garlic and all the spices that we used for the enchilada meatballs, oh my gosh, this kitchen smells so good, so uh, maybe we can make this at school as well and have everybody come to the orange chef's hat. As usual, you know, with, with all these uh, wonderful smells coming out of there, it's, it's hard not to. Um, so I'll clean up the rest here at this counter and I'm going to make room for the um, dish with the meatballs. And I'm going to bring back the uh, guacamole here and my serving plate. If I can clean this in a little bit. Here is my serving plate, okay, and then I'm going to um, get a spoon for that, a thick serving spoon, the dish has some good amount of sauce to it, okay, and then let me get a fork. fork here, I've got the serving spoon, okay, all right, look at my setting, I've got this giant spoon over here, and I've got a fork, okay, these are my utensils for today, okay, here is the guacamole, thank you guys for keeping it safe, okay, here's the guacamole, okay, so I bought this a long time ago, so I'm not, I'm not sure, um, maybe like if we can Google it and see if it's still available, it looks exactly like an avocado, it did came with a spoon, it did come with a spoon, the spoon we broke a long time ago, but it is kind of like a, a nice festive dish for the table, so I'm setting it right here. And so I'm just going to use one of my regular spoons for that, okay. Okay, and then <clears throat> I was also wondering, would you guys like some sour cream? Maybe just a dollop of sour cream on top of the uh, meatballs. Maybe I'll get Jared. How are you, Jared? Good to see you again. All right, so let me get the sour cream just in case we, we decide that it's going to be a good addition to the uh, meatballs. Three more minutes, three more minutes. Okay, all right, so here I have some sour cream, okay, that we can add to just a little bit of, um, just a dollop, just a little bit on top of the meatballs. Okay, all right, just three more minutes and we'll be ready to taste and see what, what we made today. Okay, and you let meatballs. Just a perfect combination of enchiladas and meatballs. 
We had to make it today. I had I had to pick I had to pick this recipe. I I just couldn't resist. I just um, was just spot on with the guacamole. But if you have rice or if you have corn and black beans, you can make another kind of salsa. You can um, make pico de gallo, which is another um, simple uh, little recipe for this dish. Um, you can have tortillas, lots of other things uh, would be really great with this dish. Or you can just make a um, meatball sandwich. And there's some good sauce, so these sandwiches will be really good. So lots of lots of options there. This is just like a base, um, and you can just get creative at home. And again, I would like to see how creative you guys get, so please uh, email me or post your pictures or videos on Facebook. I can't wait. And we're going to be able to see these next week on Cinco de Mayo. So don't forget these. Uh, we've got a few days to, to get ready with that. Okay, let me see. Oh my gosh, one more minute left. One more minute. Oh wow. It is just heaven in, in here at this moment. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. I think I'm almost to the point where I want to take him out right now, but I'll wait for the timer to go off. I, I really um, have to. Uh, we par cooked them at first, um, so we just needed these extra 10 minutes uh, for the meatballs to uh, finish cooking in the oven. Uh, we don't want to uh, overcook or overmix the meatballs. They'll be dense and not juicy, so we just um, had to be careful with timing. Um, I'm going to get my oven mitts ready. So as soon as the timer goes off, we're getting these meatballs out of the oven. And we'll be ready to serve them with the um, guacamole or any other side dish that you guys like and you would like to make at home. So almost ready, almost ready everybody. Thirty more seconds. Thirty more seconds. It is almost final countdown. I'm gonna just position myself right over here, right over here, right by the other. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Two. Yay, okay. Let's get them out. Let's get these meatballs out. Oh, man. Oh, right. look at this, y'all. Look at these cheesy, juicy meatballs. Wow. Doesn't that look good? And smells great, too. Okay, so we gotta be careful. Okay, we just got them out of the oven. And I'm just gonna use my serving spoon with the long handle and grab the pan with one hand with the oven lid on. Okay, I'm gonna serve one meatball onto my dish. Okay, all right, with sauce and cheese on top. Okay, I'm just a tad more sauce, okay, there. Okay, I'm gonna set it on the side there. Alright, and I'm going to maybe do just a little dollop of cream cheese on top. Okay. Ta da! Ah, there. Okay, perfect. And a spoonful of guacamole. And we are done. Okay. Look at this. Isn't that perfect? It's just a nice light lunch. We used ground turkey to make the meatballs and we used fresh avocados, tomatoes, garlic to make the guacamole. Okay, I'm going to taste it and I'll let you guys know how it is. Oh, it is so juicy. It is just as soft as a marshmallow. Okay, I'm going to blow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Mm. Well, we did really good today. This is wonderful, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I 
am looking forward to hearing from you. Email me or, t or send me um, a post on Facebook with pictures and videos of you cooking, um, hopefully, this dish. And we'll be able to see these uh, next Tuesday. This is it from me. Thank you so much. Um, I am looking forward to cooking with you each and every time. I miss you. And I will see you soon. I love you.